All right, so we just learned that our ambassador has a very clear message and a clear ministry. So you could call this ambassador a messenger who's being sent out. But it, it bodes the question, what kind of ambassador do we need here? Let's, let's think about our time. Let's think about the recent history of our country, the last 100 years. Who, if you were to pick the most effective evangelist, the most effective proclaimer of the gospel, who would you think of? Billy Graham. Billy Graham. Okay, so let's think about Billy Graham. And say we were to pick him as our, as our messenger, as our ambassador. Tell me about his education. How educated? I mean, no I don't know if he had the Bible college. I think he had a couple, couple degrees. And he, he has a, the Billy Graham School of Ministry, and it continues on to this day. He's a very educated guy. What do we know about his ability to communicate? Very effective, right? Mm -hmm. What do we, what do we know about, about his his story and his background and the power of his message? Have we seen the fruit of that over the years? Yeah. All right. So he 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 took a lot of training over the years and developed a very compelling message, right? And I tell you what, if I was to pick, if I was to pick an evangelist a while ago, I would have thought, wow. I want to pick a Billy Graham. But I want to introduce y'all to another ambassador, another messenger that we find in the scriptures in John chapter 4. If you could turn to verse 18 of John chapter 4 with me. When I first discovered this, it was, it was mind-blowing for me. It was, it was radical. It would be awesome if we could have evangelists like this all the time. All right, verse 18. Can someone, um, can someone take a, we're just going to pop in and take a look at a couple pieces of this story. But in John chapter 4, we encounter a woman who's encountering Jesus mm -hmm. at the well. Mm -hmm. Okay? And there's a lot to her story that we're not going to look at here. But in verse 18, what does Jesus say about her? You had five husbands, and the one you now have is not your husband. All right. So Billy Graham has a great reputation, right? What is what about this woman? <laughs> what about her reputation? Not, Not so much. much. Not so much. <laughs> well, no. Depends on who you are. She well, is well known, but in a good way. <laughs> Not necessarily. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then she has this encounter with Jesus where he says, I am the Messiah. He shares the gospel with her. Mm -hmm. Then in verse 28 it says, The woman left her water jar, went off into the town. And she told the people, what did she say there? How complicated, how complex was her message? Pretty simple, right? Let's take a look at verse 39. It says, many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the report of the woman who testified. He told me, he told me everything I ever did. So she had a very simple message. Not, not really that great of a background, not that great of a reputation. So if we compare her with a Billy Graham, is she the person that you would pick versus a Billy Graham? I don't know. I used to think I had to have a Billy Graham in order to see no place left in my city. But here Jesus is commissioning an evangelist who isn't really that well thought of in her community, who's coming and getting water at a time of day when... Most people don't go the heat of the day. So she's trying to avoid being seen. And yet, we see an entire town, region reached, and they come and they encounter Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what kind of messenger do we need? Do we need to train a Billy Graham? And God has used Billy Graham in powerful ways, or can we simplify things and say, you know what? We're going to reach a local who can connect with that community. And God's going to use this person in a real way. Mm -hmm. So you and I, I feel a lot like this woman at the well. It empowers me to know that if God's going to use her, he can use a sinner like me. And my message, my reputation doesn't have to be perfect. And the people who I lead to Christ and want to challenge them to see no place left in their neighborhood, mm -hmm. I can believe they can do it too, just like Jesus did. That's right. So let's turn to our neighbor and and discover some of these contrasts between, say, a Billy Graham and the woman at the well. 